Now in this video, we shall see the concepts in the fluid kinematics. Fluid kinematics is a very small topic coming under fluid mechanics. Now let's quickly revise the concepts behind fluid kinematics. The first question goes here, streamline, path line and streak line are identical when the flow is steady, flow is uniform, flow velocities do not change steadily with time, flow is neither uniform nor steady. So when is the, so what is the reason uh, for which streamline, path line, streak line, all the three are identical when the flow is steady or uniform or neither uniform nor steady. Or the velocities do not change steadily with time that is nothing but unsteady so when the flow is steady all the three streamline path line and streak line are identical now let's see the definitions of these uh, terms what is streamline actually it is a imaginary curve drawn through a flowing fluid and it is tangent at any point gives the direction of instantaneous velocity that is you can see in this uh, diagram so here all the blue lines and the dotted lines represents the streamline or the blue lines and the dotted lines represents the streamline it is the imaginary curve drawn through a flowing fluid and the tangent at any point gives the direction of instantaneous velocity you can see here the tangent at any point on the streamline gives the direction of instantaneous velocity that is v1 the velocity v1 is in this direction and this tangent line uh, represents the velocity v2 like that so tangent at any point on streamline gives the direction of instantaneous velocity and this is the basic equation regarding a streamline dx by u equal to dy by v and what is stream tubes stream tube is nothing but a group of streamlines a group of streamline compressing in a cylindrical shape that will be called a stream tube so as a whole we can call it as stream tube and the space between two streamlines so this is a streamline and this one is also a streamline so when the space between two streamlines increases then what does it infer is velocity of the fluid particle decreased so when the space between two streamline increased velocity is decreased so these are some things regarding streamline and stream tubes now let's see the path line. Path line is the line traced or the trajectory of fluid particle over a period of time. So here dot represents a fluid particle and the fluid particle tracing a path or a trajectory of the fluid particle is nothing but we call it as path line. And the direction of velocity of same particle at successive instants of time can also be called as path line. And these path lines can intersect. These path lines can intersect but streamline cannot intersect intersect and this path line are based on Lagrangian concept there are two concepts in fluid kinematics one is Lagrangian concept another one is Eulerian concept so Lagrangian concept uh, is based on the fluid particle but Euler concept is based on control volume in a control volume what is the uh, fluid properties or the flow properties that is velocity acceleration like that or the discharge and this path line is based on Lagrangian concept because we only study about a fluid particles path path traced by or the trajectory of a fluid particle over a period of time and next one is the streak line streak lines are nothing but instantaneous picture of positions of all the fluid particles that have passed through a fixed point in a flow field so here you can see if we pass a color dye in this tube and here one abstraction is there so that abstraction is uh, nothing but uh, we can say a model or through a fixed point so to bypass the abstraction the fluid travels like this so this is called as a streak line the instantaneous picture of positions of all the fluid particles that have passed through a fixed point here fixed point is here so this point is passed through so passed through a fixed point so that is called as the path traced is called a streak line so for this streak line uh, we have an example of colored dye uh, injected into a liquid so that it will uh, pass through a fixed point and for path line we have an example of a uh, cigarette or uh, smoke particle that particle is traced using from a cigarette uh, line that will be called as a path line an example for 
path line that is traced by the smoke particle. So these are some important concepts and definitions regarding streamline, stream tubes, path line and streak line. Now let's move on to the second question. So second question regarding acceleration in a curved nozzle fitted to in a curved nozzle fitted to the end of a straight pipeline carrying water under variable head the acceleration components that are present would include so there are many uh, acceleration components so in this scenario what are the acceleration components that are that are to be included in a curved nozzle fitted to the end of a straight pipeline carrying water under variable head so what are the acceleration components will be there in this scenario so here more than one option is correct more than one options are correct so a b d that is local tangential acceleration convective tangential acceleration and convective normal acceleration will be there and local normal acceleration is zero now let's see the definitions and meaning of these types of acceleration components for any streamline vn is zero so what is vn normal velocity so vn is zero for any streamline and as as uh, regards to convective acceleration and an regards to uh, normal acceleration and as is given by vs partial derivative of uh, vs plus partial derivative of vs with respect to time and an is an is equal to vs dou v1 by dou s plus dou vn by dou t and vs into dou vn by dou s this component or this term can also be written as v square by r v square by r and dou v s by dou v t sorry dou v s by dou t is the local tangential acceleration so when we say about the tangential part suffix s is included so dou v s by dou v t is the local tangential acceleration and dou v n by dou t nothing but local normal acceleration and v s into dou v s by dou s this term is called as the convective tangential acceleration and v s into dou v n by dou s is called as the convective normal acceleration so these are the four components of an acceleration part and for any streamline vs is zero for steady non-uniform flow this is a one special case for steady non-uniform flow only convective acceleration exists and local acceleration becomes zero so what does it mean local acceleration that is uh, do vn by do t or do vs by do t is equal to zero and only convective acceleration for example this term vs do vn by do s that will be existing so for steady non-uniform flow only convective acceleration exists and local acceleration becomes zero and this uh, table regards to uh, what type of acceleration for a straight parallel streamlines when this streamline pattern is occurring in a flowing fluid then there will be no acceleration what does it means uh, difference or partial differentiation with respect to velocity is equal to zero that is no acceleration acceleration is zero and straight converging streamlines for this case convective tangential acceleration will be there why because all the streamlines are meeting at a point so there will be some tangential or the touching point or the intersection point so convective tangential acceleration exists in this scenario and the concentric streamlines for this concentric streamlines convective normal acceleration will be there there is no tangential acceleration but in curved converging streamlines there will be both tangential as well as normal convective acceleration so these are some scenarios with respect to the acceleration component now let's move on to third question this question is a numerical or, or the problematic type question we have to solve it to get the velocity component in x direction so they have given velocity potential function uh, phi is equal to minus x y cube by 3 minus x squared plus x cube by y s cube y by 3 plus y squared so we have to find the velocity component in x direction so that is called as small u 
velocity component in x direction is small u and in y direction it is small v it is represented as small v so how to calculate uh, we have to know the concept behind the velocity potential and its uh, derivative equations by knowing that we can just uh, use the differentiation and integration concept to get the answer so here the answer is b now let's see what formula is used so velocity potential u is equal to minus dou phi by dou x actually velo velocity potential is phi so the negative partial differentiation with the respect to that direction gives the velocity in that direction so this is the uh, definition with regarding velocity potential so these are the some equations in x direction y direction is a direction so small u is equal to minus dou phi by dou x and v is equal to minus dou phi by dou y and w is equal to minus dou phi by dou z and if we know the continuity equation so what is continuity equation here du by dx plus du uh, du what dv by dy and dw by dz this is the continuity equation for an incompressible flow so if we substitute or if we use this continuation over the velocity potential functions we get the an equation called as laplace equation this is called as laplace equation dou square phi by dou x square plus dou square phi by dou y square and dou square phi by dou z square is equal to zero so this is called as laplace equation so these are in terms of Cartesian coordinates. In terms of polar coordinates, how to write? V Vr is equal to minus dou phi by dou r. So and V theta is equal to minus dou phi by r dou theta. And in case of uh, polar coordinates, we will get this type of equation when we substitute the potential functions or the velocities uh, in the continuity equation. So 1 by r dou phi by dou r plus dou square phi by dou r square plus 1 by r squared dou phi by dou theta squared is equal to 0. So this uh, equation is regarding in terms of polar coordinates. Now let's say other things also. Stream function. So what is stream function? Stream function is orthogonal to velocity potential or the slope of the velocity potential or the velocity potential line is orthogonal to the streamline. So that's why v is equal to plus dou psi by dou x so psi is the stream function and u is equal to minus dou psi by dou y and if we substitute the irrotational or the rotational components like this so here in this equation you can see rotational components omega z is equal to half into dou v by dou x minus dou e by dou y if you substitute the components or if we partially differentiate this v and u and substitute over here we get an equation called we get an equation like this so this equation represents a velocity flow or a flow field is irrotational so dou squared psi by dou x squared plus dou squared psi by dou y squared is equal to zero if a uh, flow satisfies this equation then that flow will be called as irrotational if it is not equal to zero then it shall be rotational and cauchy riemann equation if we equate u and u for velocity potential and stream function, we get an equation like this. This is called as Cauchy Riemann equation. Dou phi by dou x equal to dou psi by dou y and minus dou phi by dou y equal to dou psi by dou x. So these two equations are called as Cauchy Riemann equation. So this equation we have already seen rotational components omega z, omega z is equal to half into dou v by dou x minus dou e by dou y. This equation uh, shall be uh, written in terms of matrix form also. Omega is equal to i j k i j k and this second row we shall get the partial derivatives dou e by dou, dou by dou y dou by dou v and dou by dou w and here x y is and here we have to add the half so if we know this uh, determinant, determinant or the matrix equation we can get this equation we can derive this equation omega z is equal to what half into dou v by dou v by dou x minus dou e by dou y similarly omega x and omega y 
and there is another terms called uh, vorticity and circulation so what is vorticity vorticity is twice the rotational component and circulation is nothing but vorticity into the area so these are some terms regarding velocity potential stream function and the regarding uh, cr cauchy riemann equation and also the rotational components now let's move on to fourth question so this question is also based on acceleration so we have to find the convective ax tangential acceleration uh, as per the given data the a pipe diameter changes from 0.5 meter to 1 meter in a length of 1 meter given a pipe diffuser or transition if it discharges q is equal to 0.785 meter cube per second from 0.5 meter diameter so flow is from this area this point that is flow is from smaller diameter to the larger diameter then what will be the convective tangential acceleration to 0.5 meter from the entrance so we have to calculate at a distance x of 0.5 meter from the 0.5 meter smaller diameter part so at that section what shall be the convective tangential acceleration now let's see how it is calculated so option b minus 4.21 meter per second square first we have to so ultimately we have to find the value of ax so what is ax ux into tau ux by dou x so this is the convective acceleration this formula we have already seen in second question so this is the convective tangential acceleration formula ax is equal to ux dou ux by dou x so in order to get this we have to find ux so what is ux ux is ux is equal to discharge by area at that section so discharge is known 0.785 and what is uh, area at x section pi r square so r x square so what is r x that is radius at x section that is nothing but 0.25 plus 0.25 x how 0.5 meter is the diameter so 0.25 is the radius so 0.25 plus 0.25 x so at this section we have to find the value of ax so just substitute all the known values and x is 0.5 meter then we shall uh, we can get the answer for ax why negative sign because of deceleration because the flow is from smaller diameter to larger diameter then there shall be a uh, negative acceleration or we can call it as deceleration so that's why sign is minus minus 4.21 meter per second square now we shall see other formulas regarding acceleration so total acceleration is given by axi plus ayz plus azk so in terms of modulus or the absolute value that is nothing but root of ax squared plus ay squared plus az squared and ax is nothing but a component regarding x direction that is acceleration component total acceleration component in x direction is given as u dou u by dou x plus v dou u by dou y plus w dou u by dou z plus dou u by dou t so what this term wholly we can call it as convective acceleration and this is as local acceleration so both the things summing up together we get the total acceleration so convective plus local we get the answer for total acceleration and a fluid particle present in fully developed pipe flow fully developed pipe flow will definitely experience zero convective acceleration so uh, similar to this point we have already seen in the previous question a fluid present in fully developed pipe flow definitely experience zero convective acceleration so the, what does it mean only local acceleration will be there zero lo convective acceleration so because of fully developed pipe flow and this question is regarding the convective tangential acceleration so we have found the answer for only this term alone now let's move on to fifth question a two dimensional flow is described by velocity components u is equal to 2x and v is equal to minus 2y the discharge between points 1,1 and 2,2 is equal to here they have given two velocity components by using these two velocity components we have to find the discharge between two points 1,1 and 2,2 here we have to use that 
streamline concept or the stream function concept to get the answer for discharge. Here answer is 6 units. So discharge is given by difference between the stream functions. Absolute value of the difference between the stream functions. So xi1 minus xi2. So how to find the xi value? Xi value can be found by using either this formula or a total derivative formula. Total derivative of a stream function is given by minus dou psi by dou x into dx plus a minus dou psi by dou y into dy. On substituting all the things here, that is u is equal to 2x and v is equal to minus 2y. So if u is equal to 2x means then what will be the uh, what a xi value. So here we have to substitute 2x and we have to integrate and differentiate here to get the total derivative value and on uh, finding the total derivative value we have to just integrate over here and get the xi function or the streamline function something and substitute the x and y values as per the given points that is x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 1 and x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 2 and difference between xi1 and xi2 will give the answer as 6 units that is nothing but the discharge value. So now let's see more uh, more about uh, fluid kinematics. So these are some other important roles regarding fluid kinematics. So fluid kinematics is the study of geometry of fluid particles and the types of fluid flow are steady and steady, uniform and non-uniform. There are flows like one dimensional, two dimensional and three dimensional. And in case of stream function, we restrict up to two dimensional flow only. We do not go beyond two dimensional because of complexity. And laminar and turbulent flow, rotational, irrotational. We have already seen the uh, formula for rotational component that is omega z is equal to half into dou by dou x minus dou by dou y. And what actually is the study flow? Study flow means the flow having no change in properties with respect to time. That is uh, a partial derivative with respect to time is zero. So no change in properties with respect to time. Unsteady, there will be change in properties with respect to time. And what is uniform flow? Uniform flow is nothing but a velocity uh, in a streamline or in a path is uh, zero. The derivative of the velocity in a space is constant or moving at the same speed then that will be called as uniform flow if not non-uniform flow for a uniform flow convective acceleration is zero we have already seen for a uniform flow convective acceleration is zero and for a steady flow local acceleration is zero for a uniform flow convective acceleration is zero and for steady flow uniform uh, for a steady flow local acceleration is zero and what is our laminar flow? Laminar flow means velocity profile is linear and there will be no mixture of particles and well-defined path traced by fluid particles and the Reynolds number is less than 2000 and in case of turbulent flow there will be zigzag motion and Reynolds, uh, Reynolds number is greater than 4000. So these are some points regarding types of fluid flow and what is equipotential line that is given as u dx equal to minus v dy and the slope slope value slope is nothing but dy by dx dy by dx what is dy by dx here so minus uh, u by v so minus u by v is the uh, slope and in case of streamline so in case of streamline dy by dx equal to v by u so if uh, if we call this as m1 and this as m2 m1 into m2 is equal to minus 1 that means equipotential line and streamlines are orthogonal to each other and these are some important things regarding fluid kinematics if you have any suggestions or any comments regarding this or any other videos please uh, type your suggestion in the comments box section now thank you for watching and please subscribe the channel right now and stay tuned